it's a fine balance. I guess it's between keeping the faith and hope. That's another thing that's been a lesson for me. The big lessons that I mentioned were patience, but also cultivating faith and hope. I didn't have much of that before between that. So really feeling like I am going to get over this and we'll be able to resume a more normal lifestyle, though it'll be very different to, to how I used to live my life before, but also not setting oneself up for expectation that, oh, I'm going to try this treatment and I'm going to get better. I'm going to do this and it's going to get me better to, as I mentioned before, learn to um, coexist. And I think it's trying to live much more in the present, day to day, minute by minute, and really appreciating the small things that life brings us, be it watching the leaves change color, which are so beautiful, and, and being present for those moments instead of wishing that life were some other way, just accepting it for the way it is. Saves a lot of energy, <laughs> wanting it to be uh, another way. I needed that. Okay, so if you had a, had a message, did, did you come across any doctors or anybody that doesn't believe you? Um, yes. What was that like? How did you feel that day? Uh, it was very difficult. It was very difficult, but if anything, it was the, uh, how can I say, it really taught me to believe in myself. It was the first day that I kind of sat down and, and had a one-on-one -on -one with myself and realized that... Um, that I wasn't going to let other people tell me how I was feeling or what was wrong with me. And it was the really first step in a long journey of learning to trust myself. Uh, again, I think it also has to be, very, I think it's very individual. I mean, I'm the fourth person in my family to have this illness. And for each of us, it's been quite different the way that we've experienced it. So I think as well, because as well, this illness is such a, such an unusual nature that it's very important for each person to create a treatment plan that suits them and to suit their needs. And I would also say to remind people that, you know, I haven't gone to medical school, I have grade nine biology, but I'm a keen observer of my body. When it comes down to it, I know best how my body reacts and how my body feels and how I feel. So I would say really trust yourself as to what is best for you because you know what's best for you. And don't be bullied by, by systems that um, perhaps aren't that compassionate or sympathetic to your situation.